I am so excited to welcome this gentleman because he's a huge superstar, multiple award-winning, Maurice Kiria. Hey. How are you, man? Very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for, for coming on the show. Sure. You have never come on the show, and we thought that was um, unacceptable. <laughs> so we came to your city, <laughs> well, now I'm here and, I'm and really we found excited. you, so we're really excited. Yeah. Busy night for you. you have Busy. I mean, three shows for tonight. You have three shows for tonight. Oh, yeah, my voice is tired. You <coughs> have, but I have to keep going. You so. have three shows in one night. In one night. My goodness, the life of a gigging musician. It's crazy. Sunday, I'll sleep it off. So by Monday, I'll be fresh again. I must say first, congratulations on your new movie, The Queen of Katwe. You're in The new Queen of Katwe. Thank you, thank which you. Which is opening uh, here in Uganda tomorrow. Right. It's opening in Kenya next week. Mm -hmm. How did you end up in The Queen of Katwe? Uh, well, um, I had about the auditions. I turned up and um, I got the role. I was very excited. And in the movie, I play Theo, a right. brother guy who's mm -hmm. uh, not the best person you'd want to be dating your daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think, um, no offense to you, but the real star of this film is yeah. uh, the little girl. Medina. Yes. Medina Naluanga. Right. She right. is incredible. She is. And she's the star of the film, really. It was her first time acting. Yes, uh, that's what I heard. She's actually a professional dancer, like traditional yes. folk uh -huh. dancing. And I think she did a tremendous job in the movie. We can't wait to see her um, on that film. As, and we can't wait to see you too, but mostly we can't wait to see Medina. Yeah, me too. I can't <laughs> wait to see Medina. <laughs> 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 but, so you're an actor and a musician. Yes. You I didn't am. want to just settle for one? Uh, you know, acting was my first love, by the way, mm -hmm. but the music ran in the family and mm -hmm. it's something we did naturally without even thinking about it. Acting is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I'm just so happy that opportunities are coming. So far, I've been able to be in about five movies and uh, TV series. So I hope things can keep growing that mm -hmm. direction. But beyond that, you, 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 your first album came out in 2009. Uh, yes. And after that, you're just putting out music all the time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're performing, you're acting, you're doing things. How do you manage to I, I, do I, all of these things? I can't take all the credit for myself, <laughs> uh, but I would credit my team. I have a wonderful team, people who know exactly where I should be at what time. They, they've worked with me for six, seven years, and they make all this seem easy. But Somebody wanted me work. to ask you this. Why does it seem like Ugandan musicians are so much richer than the Kenyan ones? Are they? Yes. Um, I, you all seem to be boiling, man. <laughs> I can't speak for the <laughs> Kenyan artists, uh, but from where we're sitting, we, we think you guys are boiling like crazy. Like all the artists I know who are Kenyan, when they come here, they're don't boiling. believe. Don't believe what they put on Instagram. You think it's hype? Don't believe what they put uh, on Instagram. Man, I've seen Prezo flying about in that chopper and stuff. How many times? I'm not going to talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, now, what's your philosophy around music, though? Is it something you obviously love it because you're an artist, but yeah. he's got to pay your bills. So it how do you balance those two uh, um, competing interests? You have to know what matters at the moment. You know, sometimes it's not all about the money, but you have to realize that there's gigs that are meant for you know to build your brand for your satisfaction to be happy to connect with the fans then there's times when you need to understand that this is how you pay the bills as for me i started when i was 15 years old mm. so i understand so three years ago <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> spot on <laughs> so i understand that as much as i love what i do this is what puts the food on the table are there people who have told you just come and perform at my birthday or at my wedding and we'll pay you an exposure Every there'll be a lot of people there who will see you and maybe they'll book you every other day and you always think that maybe that will stop at a certain point but uh, i think it doesn't stop so and this exposure right. currency thing also exists here oh yeah and there's also this thing mm. hey it's auntie so and so i have ah. this you're like <laughs> sure i will <laughs> sing at your son's <laughs> wedding <laughs> you know but it's still it's still love so you do it sometimes but if you take too many of those exposure things or things you do for friends and family right, right. then when do you as a professional artist decide okay i'm not doing any more no, you have to have a balance yeah. you know these things, as for me, I'm, I, I'm a diehard for family and mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. So I have to find the balance where I do it professionally, which is most of the time. Yeah. But I need to find those places and those people where, to me, it has nothing to do with showbiz or the money that we get paid for. I want to be there. I will actually beg them to sing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you write your own music? Yes, I do. And what do you think about when you write? Like, What's, what's your inspiration? Uh, I'm very observant. And when I talk to people, I get topics all the time. Mm -hmm. And I've had quite some experiences, my, just like anybody else. So it could be just about anything. I could just be sitting here, and somebody's laughing about something totally different, but it will spark off something totally different, and I'll write about it. OK. When uh, young musicians come up to you and they say, I would like to have your level of success, yeah. what, are, what are your tips for making it in this business? The first thing I tell them, I ask them, do you need permission? If you have a life, 
that's the permission you need to go mm -hmm. for what you want in life. So that's the first thing I tell them. You know, but that's easy to say. You can, everybody's saying in these days, you're putting up videos on your WhatsApp and your Snapchat, right. but it's not getting the same traction you need, you know? Yeah, yeah. You need some kind of push or some extra talent to be able to get there. You'll be amazed that, you know, it's like a woman. There's a, there's a man for every woman, mm -hmm. woman, there's a woman for every man. Mm -hmm. And regardless of how we do music, there's going to be a crowd that will want your particular music, whether we don't re see you as a very professional artist or right. if we don't like your music, mm -hmm. still there's a crowd for you. And that's what people should focus on, find your crowd. Excellent. What are you performing tonight? I'm doing Never Been Loved, and I'll be on stage flirting with the girls, the mothers. I love my job. <laughs> and uh, It's not a shabby <laughs> job, right? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> so I'll be doing that, and then... I will do another song, a new song called Never Get Enough, and then I'll be leaving immediately into the car to another show, then do three songs, then leave immediately to another show, then I'll meet the boys in the club later. This is a busy man. Maybe we might run into each other at the club later. Yeah, we're going to the club later. Yeah. 